Today it's a little different. We will not speak about the dynamic elements. We have the same screen from last time, but I would like to introduce some new uh, features. I have moved down from uh, Erix extension. That is the JavaScript alert panel, the JavaScript confirm panel, and the two new uh, success panel and error panel. How um, let me switch to the nice of you. How you can use that uh, a simple explanation. So that means you can really start using that. Uh, let's for example make the success uh, panel first. That will be a TB JavaScript uh, success panel. The success panel has two bindings, a title and a message. And uh, we make this simpler. So the title say, uh, for example, good job and message you did it or whatever. So, uh, of course, you should only have one success bundle on one page. So that means it usually it you will use it in an if or else statement. So that means if something happens and you would like to show the user in the refresh a success page, a success bundle for the next page, so you can use this kind of feature. And uh, let's refresh this. Let me submit the page and it come off with a nice looking bundle and says good job you did it click ok so that means you get like saying if if the mail address is not empty then show the success bundle and if you could use this like that so one more again nice animation nice good looking okay then uh, let's go make the next one tb javascript error panel uh, here also title no message sorry for you or whatever make it the short version so that it looks better this is the same with the success bundle so you use it in some if else and if the page retro then you get an error page. Sorry, okay, that's wrong. That was really and sorry. Okay, now it looks with a nice animation, looks really nice. Nice error panel can be used now. Okay, then let's go to the alert panel. We had that already from the Wonder project. So let's use that. The TBGS alert bundle, and it has also some bindings. Uh, first, it should be the alert message say, uh, wake up. Uh, then we have the string binding say, our alert me make this also short and then we have also an action to sample action use the sample action that we use for saving uh, the data here out only for test purpose so as you can see that the log will change so let's try to do that make a refresh of the page now we have here the alert me if i click on alert me it says wake up you click ok and it executes the action so that's the current and old implementation that works like expected like you have seen but now we have also a nicer version so that means you can say automatic to true and let's try this again uh, let's refresh the page if i click now on alert me you get a nicer looking alert uh, with the application name and your alert message 
and then you click OK and it will execute uh, the action. That is how the alert message is working. And then uh, let me go to the next one. And we can do that. Let's make it here. TBGS confirm bundle. We have a confirm message uh, forget what I did. Okay, what we're missing, we need the action binding, action binding for to sample action. Let us me NPR. Let's see how that looks now. Okay, sorry, I forgot. The important is, of course, the string binding. Confirm me. Okay, we have here now the confirm me here. If I click, you get the confirm, forget what I did, cancel, fine. Or if I click on OK, the action get executed. Let's clean that up again. So, okay, then uh, let's improve this uh, with automatic to do. So that we get also here a nice uh, looking confirm me. Now we have here uh, a nicer, are you sure? Forget what I did. Cancel, yes, do it. Okay, then let's uh, change that. Let's add the title. Too much vodka. So that means you have here the confirm me forget what I did and also we can change the button name here let's forget confirm me and you have the nice looking confirm page uh, panel and if you click on let's forget the action get executed like expected so Let's add a new four panels. Uh, thank you to David Holt. He found this nice looking uh, JavaScript library uh, for the suite alerts. And that is now here in TreasureBot implemented and can be used via binding very easily. Okay, see you in the next videos. Bye bye.